So on the AWE system, it's important to take those 1.21 gigawatts and be able to move this thing under control. And I'm here with Virgil. Virgil, how are you doing? How are you doing, sir? I'm good. So Virgil is an electrical designer here. And uh, Virgil, tell us a little bit about how you take all of that power and control it. Well, we have received uh, some very detailed specs from our customer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we take that and use the uh, standard electrical design practices. And then we go and convert that and basically using AutoCAD electrical, mm -hmm. create electrical schematics and mechanical drawings to create the control system for the, for the AWE elevator. Okay, so um, these aren't normal specs, right? That is correct. We have had to do things that I have found that are very significant as far as uh, our protection against uh, EMI radiation, mm -hmm. also the amount of EMI radiation that we give off so oh. that we don't accidentally set off any ordnance. And everything is also has to be uh, protected against shock. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on a ship, it's moving, it's in a combat zone. Uh, it needs to be able to, to take a beating and keep on ticking. So you're using AutoCAD electrical as opposed to AutoCAD. Now you've, you've used AutoCAD in the past to do some electrical designs. What's the key differences that you see between the two? Well, the biggest difference is the uh, productivity gains that we get by using AutoCAD Electrical. Before we would normally have to create all these individual blocks uh, and line them up. With AutoCAD Electrical, we can go and a lot of these components are already designed. So we take this, mm -hmm. and this is actually, this joint here is the basic uh, high voltage power system okay. of the control cabinet. And we can take these, and these are actually contactors, and they relate to and I'll switch here to another drawing. This is actually the interior components of our, the brains of the okay. uh, system we're using. And those contactors that I was showing you were right here. Huh. And we can associate these contactors and, and their qualities with electrical schematics so that when we make any changes and we prevent and we produce our bill of materials, mm -hmm. that it will automatically update it saving us a lot of time instead of having to go in there and change each component individually. Okay, so I noticed that oh, in the window pull down I said checked out, so you, you're also using uh, Autodesk Vault to get your information as well. Oh yes, yes, it's, um, rev control is very important. You sure might show me what, what, what the physical model looks like, do you? Not a problem, not a problem. All right, let's go. Okay, well as I was showing you earlier, uh, those were the drawings for the control brains for this AWE elevator. And this is the main cabinet that we have uh, that we are shipping out for 11 of those elevators. So, just to give you an idea. All right, so it <laughs> looks exactly like you're drawing. Okay, so you don't, you don't build the panels yourself, you actually send those out, right? That is correct. We are working in cooperation with a company that also has to, these wires and everything are all special military grade wires to meet all the requirements that, uh, detailed in the procurement spec. All right, so you, you know, utilizing uh, AutoCAD Electrical to get this uh, to get this out, there, and you just send in the DWG files, right? That is correct. Right on. How long does it take for them to turn around a panel like this? Um, because this is everything about it is sort of custom built. Yeah. Uh, the uh, I'd say about 11 weeks. Huh. So. All right, so I'm gonna hook up with Ross. He's gonna show me the rest of the system. Thanks so much, Virgil. Not a problem. All right. No, really, at this time, I am at over to see Ross Eubanks. Ross takes me on a tour of the shop and how the engineering, project, sales, and manufacturing teams rely on Autodesk tools to design such unique equipment. 